So, how'd it turn out? Well, how about this? I got a bonus of 20, which translates to a rather nice challenge point bonus, too. I think that's pretty good. I'm actually shocked that I got so many universes. I mean, yikes. Anyway. Yeah. Wow. It's more than I thought I'd get. I didn't think I'd get... I didn't think that I'd crack even a hundred thousand, much less a million. Hmm. Well, anyway. Well, yeah, that can definitely... Now, Forge. We need... Hold on a second. Hold up. Let's consider. Go ahead and forge a uh, ring. Yeah. My dungeon crews, I need I need a good ring for you. I need a weapon for you. You need a full set. So you're a healer, so maybe it'd be better to put you in a defense that's more defense oriented. I don't know. Then again, being fast and getting extra turns might be really great for a healer. And you need a pretty, pretty much a full set. Yeah. You, you got a ring at least. Ugh, so mixed up. Let's go ahead and take... Oh, right, they're in dungeons. I can't do that. Eh, whatever. Keep forging. Keep forging. Anyway, uh, so from here I'm just going to finish up. I need to collect my mass of GP by knocking these out. Uh, let me go ahead and pick you up. <clears throat> Probably want some of this. Probably want a few of these. Might as well d make all these upgrade. Might as well spend it. Hmm. This might take me more than an hour to finish up. Hmm. Oh well. Craziness. What's my creation stat look like? Good, but not really relevant. Oh well. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Crazy. So much. If I was serious about climbing, I wonder. Hmm. Anyway. I'm going to start this at... I'm um, going to start this in about an hour or so. Uh... I'll have to do it remotely from work during a break, actually, so it probably won't, like, I'll probably end up starting it in about four hours. No, three. Is that right? Yeah. Anyway, so, I'll just have to set this up before I go as best I can, and definitely take all these down, which shouldn't take me long at all. Anyway, uh, last thing to do. Hmm. Build speed. Hmm. Wow. So, that was a nice boost there. A nice little boost. Uh, well, I 
took me so long to build all that up, and now it's all gone. But I've still got enough. So. Yeah. That should help me with the black hole challenge a good bit. That should help me a good bit. Hmm. All right, then. Well, well, how many upgrades do you think we managed to get out of all of those? Seriously, I didn't think when I started this challenge that I was going to get... I mean, I, I might, have, might have gotten 100,000. I wasn't sure. But I was not expecting to go over a million like this. I have over 100 upgrades. That's crazy. There's literally nothing in the game that requires over a hundred upgrades. Oops, I just burned half my divinity. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oh, well. I should probably spend more time power surging, but I don't think I will. But I'll at least try to get a bunch of this in. And some black holes. And... Hmm. Hmm. Not ready to unleash the might yet. Come on, we can at least get to 60, right? Hmm. 102. Sadly, I only get 50 GP. <clears throat> All the rest is just completely unnecessary. Alright, you got 36 minutes left. Build! Build! Faster! Faster! Show off my newfound build speed. Hmm. I wonder how far I could go before I'd have to start spending uh, GP on a statistic multiplier. Huh. But I could climb that ladder pretty far before that would kick in. Hmm. I really am curious about just climbing. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea since I'm already up here to just climb up to 70. Is 70 the limit? I'm not sure. But, uh, cause each people you defeat does increase your divinity generator. So it's, it's not necessarily a bad idea. I don't know. I'll think about it. Hmm. As usual, I tore through all of the daily the lucky draws to find nothing. Just nothing in them. Just garbage. Ah. <sighs> Still thinking about those. The ultimate arty challenge is still on my mind. Assuming the challenge points still work during it. it might not. It might actually be. There's a few things that I probably should still purchase before doing it that from the pet stones, but. Hmm. Forge, forge, forge. If it's not at least rank B, I just scrap them. 
every time. I'm just like, eh, get rid of this, try again. I could upgrade, it probably should if it's a C rank, but I don't. I just dump it and go, try again. Because maybe we'll get something in the S ranks, which will increase the odds that I'll, when I turn it into the uh, whatever's above a fire glove. Or when I turn it into a storm armor. Storm armor? Is it storm armor? Yeah, storm armor. Anyway. Hmm. 102. Oh, this has been a roller coaster of a day for this. So first off, my um, remote control decided it wasn't gonna work, which wrecked everything, like I was, oh, the campaigns, the dungeons, the crafting. I had left them both on Forge of Feathering for a couple of hours, and anyway, that was terrible. So I come home all uh, stupid thing, all that lost time didn't start the new challenge and uh, and then open up boom I finally have it well now well 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 <sighs> it's just all oh, these galaxies again ah Alright, give me that. Squash those. At least I've left things in a pretty good position on a hole. Now I need to decide what to do. Whoops. From this position. Whoops, I got it. Alright, uh, so, um, mm. Finally, finally, finally! I can have another pet token! No, 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 we're doing this. I will take the improved crystal chance. Wump. I did this out of order. <laughs> Just now struck me. I did this out of order. <laughs> oh man. So, so I can finally do the crystal power challenge, which according to the last uh, one of the last patches, now you don't have to rebirth over and over again during it. So, I, I don't know, I haven't seen it yet, but I, mean, I still want to test this out, though, and then there's still... Hmm... But I have the 25% boost! I am so happy to have that. Uh, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put you all there. Yeah, do that. <laughs> all right. Let's probably do this. I mean, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, do that. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm so tempted to go straight in the Crystal Power Challenge. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I realized when I did that test, I don't think I had de-equipped my physical crystal. I don't think I did, so it's probably going to take... But anyway, we're, we'll, we won't know exactly how long it'll take until we do it. I'm guessing that I can get this done within 24 hours. I think. I think. Which would make it a very good source of challenge points. And, you know, I mean, you know, I could still get another 2% on the crystal upgrade boost. <laughs> As if the 25 isn't good enough for me. Oh, man, finally. No, seriously, it's been bugging me, this gigantic wait to get another one of those in. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Wap. What? How are you not... How are you... Is something... Did I... No, they're all... Taken out. How in the world is this one lagging behind? Ah, uh, did, did, did we? Uh, oops. No. No. I 
I can't figure out why this is half the rest of them. I can't figure out why. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant. It has no meaning whatsoever to my actual plans, but... But I want to know! <laughs> also, I should probably do this. Okay. Have I done everything? Dotted every I, crossed every T. Oh, shit. I can kill this guy. Maybe. Almost. It would certainly be worth doing, wouldn't it? Huh. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go ahead. Uh, I'm going to just go, go ahead and try the 1K clones black hole challenge. All right. Oh, uh, we Also, we get to see the effect on this. Yes. It stayed 100. Jeez, hadn't thought about that. That's a problem. Hmm, we'll worry about that in a second. Might as well go or not. Hmm. But yeah, no. So I only need 25 in each of these, and the, the crit chance stayed at 100%. I mean, I'm just so pleased by that. I no longer have to play Mirrored Eyes. That can't be right. Seventy-two. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. Neat. Very, very nice. Anything that reduces the amount of clicking I got to do over here is welcome, but it's especially nice. We can't use the might tab at all. Hmm. Boy, I'm going to have to be attentive if I'm going to make proper use of the pets. All right, so... Defeat Tyrant Overlord Ball. Done. And why even have that first clause? Build one black hole with one upgrade. All right. Well. Oh. Mm hmm. Boop. Now use one of these. Use one of that. Yeah. I had, I didn't even, I had a really just good lucky run of those lucky draws. I didn't even have, I didn't even have very many. But then, yeah, man. It's just crazy. Sorry, I'm still stoked that I finally have my crystal upgrade chance. Now, I merely need... Two more pet tokens. Just two. And I'll have all the pets. Well, and I need to do Ultimate Arctic Challenge to pick up the turtle, but you know, I'll finally have all them all. Then. Whoop. Slow. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to defeat these. Much, even if I could, I wouldn't be able to build stuff with the crystals. Hmm. I could buy another ten to my. Hmm. I could actually. I might. Hmm. Man, I've boosted my build and creation speed so much. Okay. 
You still need to think about this monument. Yeah, I know, I know. Really, you can't even make 24 of them? Huh. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Oh. They don't all die at the same moment somehow. You know what? That's fine. That's enough. Forty-two. The life, the universe, and everything. Okay. Alright. Uh, more of them. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to babysit this for a while to build up the stats to where I want them. So I can use, I could actually run a heavy divinity run with my pets. Hmm. I just cannot afford to make an ocean. It's too spendy. That's fine. So, I'll take this slowly. Also, um, just for fun. So, currently, we're wor working on the B. Oh, hey, we must have finished our Divinity Generator. That's nice. Currently, we're working on the B. Let's see. Everyone is above 22,000 here. Yeah, they'll get those last couple of thousands just from feeding in time. And everyone below this point needs time in the growth campaign. Our weakest is still almost, almost 9,000. Wow. Very soon I won't have a single pet that's not over 9,000. So that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What, 25 minutes, really? Well, that's, that's pretty good. Hmm. Can't you, can't, can't you afford, can't you afford an ocean? Guess not. Hmm. Oof. Chilled molasses running uphill. That's our speed, is it? K. Mm. All right, get back into an order that I can wrap my head around. The order I'm used to. All right, we're a fourth of the way there. Come on. It's interesting how they kill their things at different speeds, even though they're all set to half. Somehow it just doesn't stay evened out. Anyway, just getting this up a couple of levels would be huge. Now, I don't even need that much if my goal is to only make four universes and five galaxies. Four universes being the hard part of that. That's, that's nothing. This shouldn't take long. This really shouldn't take too much. Oh, hey, look, you got your oceans and your nations. Now you're trying to work on your continents. Hmm. Well, you 
we'll get there eventually. I'm stuck here distributing over and over and over anyway. All right, whatever. <laughs> oh, this is a thing. Sh should probably keep that going too. Hmm. Keep at it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be stuck like this for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch some videos or something while I'm busy hitting this distribute button. <clears throat> yeah. Well, we're less than two hours in, and I'm already wondering if I've made some kind of terrible mistake. <laughs> See, I was thinking, you know, I knew it would be kind of like this with a Divinity Generator, and I knew I wouldn't be able to kill these, which is, you know, a convenient way to gather Divinity. But what I didn't expect was that I can't purchase Divinity either. I was just like, wait, what? It's a good thing I checked this early, because now I can decide whether or not I want to keep pursuing this or call it off. See, here's the thing. Even though I can run Divinity Camps, that's the only way I'm going to have to gain large amounts of Divinity. But, man. That's a lot to ask. Hmm. Also, how am I possibly going to get... I can't use worker clones. <laughs> so how am I... Po I, I need to get the capacity up, too, so when, when I go to bed at night, I'll be able to let it generate something. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to stick with it for now. I have my reservations. I wonder if it's going to lock my lucky draws, too. It might. If they locked this out, they probably locked the lucky draws, too. Hmm. Hmm. I come back to that same problem, that there's not a lot of good ways to make this particular challenge easier. But, as I've said before, I mean, doing one of this helps. But doing multiple of them doesn't seem like it really plugs into much. But I just, I just want to unlock that category, so I'll, I'll stick it out. However long it takes. If it takes days, it takes days. We'll see if I can get it in under 24 hours, but... Hmm. Bothersome. No, we still got the divinity. And okay, maybe it's a little bit slower than I expected, but not that much slower. Maybe just a little. Hmm. Bah! All right, well, it has been six hours. And we're up to... Six. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It's kind of painful not being able to interact with a lot of things. This is kind of an agonizing challenge. Knowing that I could be doing all kinds of stuff with these clones that I can't because they're not there. Hmm. So, I've gone ahead and burned some chakra pills just now, and I think I'm going to just go to bed. And we'll see how we do in the morning. If it can make the suns, it's won. At that point, it's over. Just getting enough to do that, that's all. Because, yeah, the planets aren't nearly as expensive. <sighs> hmm. 
Hmm. Well, anyway. Well. So, I've been really torn and unable to decide what to do next. Um... Really, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure what I should do next. <sighs> so, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the Crystal Power Challenge. I'm practically as good as I can get at it. Like, okay, I can have one percent more here, which you know I get within. A oh, go away, go away. I'd get with that within two of these challenges being completed anyway. Um, so I might as well just do this one for now. When the weekend comes, I might change it up a bit more. But for now... Let's see how this works. So it's been changed up. This might be a good... This, this might end up now because of how it's been changed up. This might be a really good one for doing long item camps and getting lots of uh, lucky draws and hopefully the pet stones that I so long for, that I so desire, that I so richly deserve. But anyway, let's see how it works. So I'm supposed supposed to be able to somehow complete this CPC without rebirthing, right? I wish I could pull up the um, change log right now. Well, actually, I can pull up the change log right now. Boop, boop. Okay, you're nice and saved. You nice, you know where you are? Okay, let's pull up the change log. Is there another way to pull up the change log? Eh, probably. Do I care? Not really, this way works just fine. I'll just do this. <laughs> hey, maybe there was an update since the last time I did it. I don't know. Okay. So somewhere, God, there's actually been a lot of updates. Uh, added new challenge. Ah, here it is. Planet is now available in clone build-up challenges. It is now possible to finish crystal power challenges now without rebirthing. But in what way? How? I assume I can reset the crystals and just the crystals somehow. But how? How does it work? Where's the button? No. I'm sure I don't. I don't know how this works yet. Hmm. I guess I'll have to make some crystals and see if I can figure it out. Uh, hmm. It's not here. It's not here. It's definitely not this button over here. You need to be at least one hour into the challenge before you can cancel it. Okay, well, maybe in an hour a new option will appear. Then, maybe. Or the option might appear under here somewhere. Hmm. I'll just have to see. Just have to find out. This might also be good for these. That'd be nice. But the thing that really matters is that I can do long item camps. I'm actually thinking of swapping things around a little. See, if I run a growth campaign right now... Ooh, actually, yes, definitely the box. But after that... Let's see. You're at 32,500. 
All right. So I could up all of the ones who do item camps, but um, the lowest ones by a couple of thousand, and that would mean that I would need to spend less time building up. The rabbit's the weakest one in the item campaign, so I've been using him as the measure all this time of when we're ready to do an item camp, and it takes about an hour-ish. I mean, it's slowly lowering, but if I were to put, just pump him by a couple thousand, it could shave time off of uh, the start of each run, each rebirth. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well. I'm really curious in what way I can complete this challenge without rebirthing. <laughs> S there's actually three or four different mechanics that come to mind as different ways we could potentially do it. I could just have an option that just says grind up or cash in crystals and just be like, here, here, except they probably wouldn't. Oh my gosh. No, they have to reset your energy and reset all of the modules. Otherwise, it would make the challenge a whole lot easier. So it has to be a reset of the entire crystal factory somehow. And it probably needs to reset these guys as well to their starting point. I mean, it doesn't have to. It would it would make it easier, though, if it... Yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to have to see how this is implemented. I'm guessing reset, reset the entire planet. I'm guessing it resets all of these. That's what I'm guessing. Anything else, and it will make the challenge considerably easier, which, I mean, I wouldn't object to making the challenge easier. And uh, if they do make it easier, then this would become the de facto way to gain crystal power. But they probably won't. Hmm. I'm thinking about buying more build speed. <laughs> no, really, there are things on my mind <laughs> that I want to do. Between that and uh, the uh, challenge I just did, the Monument Multi-Challenge, my black holes have become way more effective. Way, way more effective. Hmm. Yeah. Does this... You know what? I have tons of these. I'm just going to burn a couple. Under the assumption that... <laughs> that the change log is correct. And that I can complete this challenge without rebirthing. <laughs> so, you know. I'm just, I, I got tons of them. I don't, even, I don't even mind. Anything that takes at least 24 hours is worth burning them. In fact, maybe even things that aren't don't take 24 hours. I only wish I could get ultimate shadow summons at the same rate I get these. Hmm. But, alas, that is not to be. Never to be. Alright, anyway. Well... I don't, not much else I can do until I have some crystals. Alright, let's see if actually holding crystals will give us some insight into how this works. Equip, equip, equip. Now what? You are still missing 374 crystal power to finish this challenge. So somehow it's already noticed that I've got six crystals. I think I'm still going to have to rebirth. I think... 
I think what it's saying is that at the end of the challenge, it will register the crystals in hand. Um, meaning I don't have to have to do the final rebirth. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let, let me read the description one more time. Let me try to read its exact words. Okay. No, it says it should be possible to fi well, I'm finish it without rebirthing. Finish it. Does that mean I can do the entire thing without rebirthing or just I'm I'm a little bit unclear on what you mean. Uh, several different things that could mean. You're still missing 375. Oh, wait, no, you're only missing 374. No, wait, you're missing 375. Okay. I think I'm going to have to rebirth. I think I'm still going to have to rebirth during it repeatedly. I think that's how it's going to have to be. It says you can rebirth as often as you want. I, I, think, I think that's how it works. Hmm. Which means it's not going to be compatible with 12-hour item campaigns. Eh, whatever. I'll let the... I'll let it... Even though I only just started it, I'll let the 12-hour campaign finish anyway. Because it will be convenient to my schedule to do it. That's why I had picked... I need something I can do 12-hour campaigns in. I probably am going to have to do this one. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Alright then. Well, I mean, I guess that's how it works. It just lets you skip out on the very last one from actually hit, having to hit the rebirth button, I guess. Which is nice, I suppose. If I understand this correctly. Hmm. Alright then. Well, that's how it is. That's how it is. Fine by me. Alright, so... We are done. Mm. So that can't be right, can it? I guess it is. Right. Went to sleep, woke up, went to work. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I really, really need a challenge that takes, like, a day to complete. Hmm. You see, the problem is I need to be able to walk away and not constantly rebirth or something, so... Hmm. So you want me to rebirth a whole bunch? You want me to rebirth a whole bunch? I have the No Rebirth Dungeon Challenge, but I'm not quite ready to attempt that yet. I could. I want to do Crystal Power Challenges. But... And that leaves you. Well, I mean, I guess you're more or less the right shape, kind of. I can spend time at work and at home. Let me see, it's a Thursday now, 
two days. Yes, yes. Over the weekend. Hmm. I suppose... I'm not excited about doing these just now. I'd like to build up more GP and just bake it so I can finish them more quickly. <clears throat> there is no other challenge present that GP will actually help with. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Crystal power challenges and oh, clone build up challenges. Ah, ah. Well, anyway. Hmm. Hmm. It really feels like this is the best fit or this one right now for me. I'm just not quite ready to do either at this moment. I'm busily working on my stuff like this storm armor here. I've got a few rings and a bow and a couple of vests to uh, smash or upgrade. Let me see. I already did the flame glove. Let's see. I believe I have an armor too. Don't I? I think I do. Hmm. See, I already got you. I already got you. I already got a lot of things. I have a couple of irons. Oh, there it is. Yes, this vest. So, I mean, I have a handful of pieces of gear I still wish to upgrade. Hmm. Various, various pieces of equipment. Hmm. And what do I have light? Oh, right. Can't do that while you're crafting. Here we go. Let's see what I've still got lying around that I can use. I just want to see what spare equipment I've got. Oh, come on. You. I've got a wooden axe. Whoops. And a feather ring. Specifically, those are my spare items. A wooden axe and a feather ring. Well, the defense is better. The defense is definitely better on you. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, we're pretty well geared up at this point. I think those are just going to end up being leftovers, which are fine because they still give me some boosts. Um, hmm. Question. Who has the crap blade? Does it tell me? book who's uh, not actively adventuring actually hmm. but should be you should be adventuring in place of somebody yeah 
Yeah, I should put the book in in place of somebody who's going to end up not adventuring in the long run. But who? Hmm. The thing is, I kind of want these people adventuring. Maybe the octopus? The octopus is one of my best, though. Maybe the anteater, because someday he's going to be handling a hammer. Mm, yeah. This thing could go. That is true, too. Though right now it balances if I want to do the mountain. I guess I have enough wind types. I could dispose of you. Replace you with the book. All right. All right. Okay. All right, Mr. Spaghetti here. And then I come over here. I actually should take everyone's gear off and start over from the start. Hmm. Kind of like that bow. You want that? Yeah, I, I should spend time pulling everyone's armor off and re-equipping everything from the, from the top to the bottom here. Um, definitely should take the time to do that and consider. I've got a handful of gear I still want to upgrade. Give me a few more days and I might be ready to try it to form a team to form a dream team yeah in the meantime I might also consider evolutions I have will have enough fire stones I've got I've got a lot of options. Look at how much how much never melt ice I have. I actually have a ton of options here. I could evolve you. I could just snap my fingers and make you into a mage. And then I'd have a water mage. Or or I could evolve you into a defender. You'd like that, wouldn't you? For the wood, I need a thousand, and I don't have a thousand. Where is it? Or anywhere near that, so we'll, we'll just keep waiting on that point. Good grief, I have enough to uh, practically evolve you? Is that right? The robot could be evolved right now. You want to be a blacksmith. And you'd be good at it. Really good at it. But you have plus a hundred to pet growth. Oh, and you really look like you should be an advent, uh, a, a, a dungeon crawler. I mean, look at this. Shouldn't he be in the dungeons? He looks so awesome. <sighs> Yes. Oh, I have two pet change tokens now. Wee. All right. So, and I still have a couple hundred. Wow. All right. So I've got water and fire to consider. I could turn you into an alchemist. And I could turn one of you two into an adventurer. I do need two defenders. But I kind of like the idea of you. As a mage. A water mage in the fire dungeon would kick a lot of butt. Yes, that would 
would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Yes. But I also need a pair of defenders. I'm gonna go with it. Evolve. Mage. What? My pets need a what now? All your pets have to have a hundred million total stats? Oh. We've got 30 million almost. Not good enough? Oh. Hmm. Well, I see. Regardless of that. Really? Stats are pretty high. That doesn't, so the campaigns aren't going to help with that. You want just their stats to equal a million. That might actually take some time. You want a level 20 ultimate crystal. Uh, I've already got a 13. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot of work to do. I could do it. I could totally do it. Um, it's not really ever going to get any easier. But I think I'd rather have Rimuru fighting for me. So let's go ahead. Pull you out. Pop you in. Okay. You're going to become an alchemist. That means... Remove those... Yeah, I know, but come on. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to take the time to pull everyone's equipment off and reallocate everything as best I can, deciding what to prioritize. Class level 0, level 11, yes, yes. I'm probably going to juggle who's in which party and what items they have. I might also consider buying an additional item slot. Basically, I need to get serious about dungeoning if I'm gonna do gonna do this challenge. I've been very lax on it, putting it as a low priority. I've got two class change tokens. It's time I burned one of those. So that's gonna be my camel here becoming an adventurer at the same time that my phoenix becomes an alchemist. I'll be able to drain its... Uh, its uh, dungeon level and turn that into class levels. I also could potentially drain your dungeon levels and put them into Gundam's class level. At the very least, for now, I'm gonna do this. Boop! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that seems good. All right. I've got another blacksmith that's going to take a little while to get at. But yeah. I'm going to want to have three teams able to do depth two, preferably. Uh, the problem is that requires me to do a run every four hours to reset. That doesn't accommodate well with going to work for eight hours, does it? Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely doing 1K black hole challenges for now. Hmm. I'm going to be a little bit weird about this. Because I hate to lose lose time that I could be spending in campaigns and stuff. All right. Uh, last thing to do. You know, eventually he's going to have to introduce something else that ball points can be spent upon. Someday, I hope.
Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them the usual... Oh, yeah. Shit, this one's a pain in the butt. I remember that now. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, I only have a thousand to distribute. Right. All right, fine, whatever. All right, so I'm going to give it the usual hour. Uh, to get them up to where they're ready to do the item camps. And then what I'm going to do is I'll give it the 12-hour thing here, of course. And I'll put the pumpkin there. But the item camp is going to run like this. Because that lets Undyne, my most powerful pet, sit around and just get fight uh, shadow clones all day. That's the plan. Uh, the other teams will be dungeoning, and she will spend twelve hours fighting shadow clones. But how? Hmm. 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 There may be a flaw somewhere in this plan. I don't know. I completely spaced the fact that the thousand clones was a problem for these. I could give you a thousand shadow clones, but how long will that really keep you busy? And they're kind of needed for other things. So I guess it's going to be a level up campaign? Instead of an item campaign, I could run a level up campaign. What would be the expected result of a 12-hour level-up campaign? Six thousand-ish levels. This would be multiplied by all these other people. Boosting it a lot. Hmm. Hmm. not enough. Hmm, no. No, level up campaign to what we're going. Maybe I just won't evolve Rimuru yet. I could always just not evolve Rimuru for now. That that's actually acceptable. Sort of. What challenge do I evolve Rimuru on then? Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I see how this is all going to go together then. Okay, all right. So I'll run this. Come the weekend, I'll do a day challenge. No, that requires continual rebirthing. No, that requires... In is it just a challenge? I don't have to rebirth all the time. Maybe it's a no rebirth dungeon challenge. I suppose over the weekend I could do a crystal power challenge. And then. No, you rebirth every four hours, four to five hours. No, that's still not long enough, I don't think. No, for this to work, I think it'll actually have to be a no rebirth dungeon challenge. Or I could just go without a challenge for a while. I mean, I could always just. Just be like, screw challenges. I need to just spend 24 hours. <laughs> that would work. That could be done, I guess. Something in me rebels. No, no it won't. It's not good enough. It's not acceptable. I should find a way within the framework of challenges to do it. It's got to be this one. All right, so when I'm ready to do this, Rimuru will be able to be evolved into a mage. Okay. So then, you'll be a mage. I'll be
be able to you'll you'll be able to gain some levels between now and then. It'll be a bit tough on you though. It is going to be hard on you. Let me swap your place. The donut can probably tank a few hits at this point. Yeah. So you'll gain some XP between now and then, but you'll be at class level 1 when you evolve, and that's going to be unfortunate. I'll juggle my gear. I'll keep crafting. Yeah, I think in a couple I think in a couple of days I might be ready to do this to attempt this. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose it's time. And all of all Rimuru during that. Man, I really wish like everything else about the 1K black hole challenge isn't really a big deal. But this, I'm stuck hitting dis distribute over and over again. Can I go do other things? No, I have to keep pushing this button. Well, at the very least, I'm going to make some dinner and eat. Maybe watch some YouTube until you've reached your... your um, Hundred million. That's when you're ready to do the item camps. Hmm. But yeah, I don't know how close it will get uh, in twelve hours. May or may not do it. I'm not entirely sure how it all. I I've never tried to bring some... I've, I've never given a pet of this level that much time fighting Shadow Clones, but 12 hours of fighting shower clo Shadow Clones may or may not be enough. But it would certainly get you close, and then I could just put everyone on clone fighting duty after that to get the rest of the way. So it seems good to me. All right, then. Looking at it again, I noticed that I misread this. It's not have... I thought it was referring to, to, to my multipliers, but no, no, no. It says each pet over 100 million stats, which... Actually, most of them have already done. This is actually difficult, but not nearly as difficult. It's mostly the fact that I have some low-end pets that's the problem. I have a few pets who are going to be troublesome. Uh... Yeah, like you. Probably if I can get the elephant to, to pass that point, then everyone will be past that point. Anyway, not such a big deal then. Uh, I guess I'll just... Hmm. Do that. Alright, great. Anyway, things are rolling along swimmingly over here. Which is to say it's taking forever, but, you know, what can you do? I went ahead... And threw in, um, I could probably use the chakra pills. I went ahead and gave myself the extra build speed, spent my, my GP to get 20,000 more. It's not much, but hey, every little bit helps. And I guess I'm just going to burn some of these. I'll need a lot of them. But I do despise wasting them because... Well, not wasting them, but I, I do despise spending them when I could be spending them in other things later. But anyway, I'll just put that down for now. And yeah. Anyway, Rimuru won't be so hard to evolve. I'll just take care of that l later. I don't know why I thought it was the player. I thought it was the, the uh, thing here that's boosted by... Point, point zero one percent. 
Each stat of all pets adds 0.01% uh, to your own stats. And for some reason I thought that was a thing, but no, 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 I didn't make sense. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. See so, you know. Uh, anyway, 